Hey everyone, my name is Marie, aka I am Bag Happy, and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So, this video is going to be a hodgepodge of different stuff. I have a couple of things to talk about, and I decided to put them all in one video. Uh, first off, I will share a quick channel update on how future videos will be coming out in the next couple of months. And then also, I recently went to the shops at Solaire uh, and I stopped by one. Louis Vuitton because I have an update on my Pochette Matisse. Something is happening to it and I just wanted to share my experience uh, visiting there and inquiring about it. Uh, also, of course, I stopped by Fendi uh, because I wanted to check in if a price increase did happen and of course, I checked out a couple of new and gorgeous stuff that you may want to check out. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's jump right into it. First things first, a quick channel update. I recently went back to work full time meaning I've been going to the office from Mondays to Fridays. I don't have as much time to squeeze in for filming, editing, and producing these videos. So um, my uploads won't be as consistent, but I still do hope you continue to tune into my channel. Um, just subscribe and hit that notification bell. Stay tuned uh, to my Instagram stories or my YouTube community page and I will always update whenever I will be coming out with new videos. I still have a lot of video ideas listed down. It's just that finding the time to produce them uh, is pretty scarce at the moment and I haven't figured out how um, life will go uh, because I just recently started going back to work full time. Of course, things are not going to change. I'm still going to reply to your comments on my previous videos. I will also answer or help out as much as I can if you DM me on Instagram. Um, I pretty much love conversing or talking uh, with followers and subscribers. I also love it if you have questions with me. If I feel like it, I might do Q&As on my Instagram page, you know, for a couple of questions here and there. So I will still be there. Uh, it's just that YouTube takes up a lot of time, and, which I don't currently have. Uh, hopefully down the line, I'll figure something out with how I schedule things so that I can squeeze in a video every week. But for now, it probably won't be as frequent as before. Uh, still, I hope you tune in. I hope you still stay subscribed and I still hope you watch out for any video uploads in the future. Now let's talk about my quick trip to Solaire uh, in that I have a Pochette Matisse update. I am going to insert a clip or two uh, of close-ups of this bag and yeah, this side and this side has started to crack. Uh, they're very small, very minor cracks, but I just noticed them a couple of weeks ago. So I went by Louis Vuitton to ask about what they can do about it and if there's anything I can do about it. It's a normal thing, they said, uh, because this is where you open and close the bag. And if you don't really look at it closely, it's not really that obvious, but I just wanted to ask them on what they can do. They can have the whole bag reglazed um, for 4,950 pesos, so that is a little under $100. Um, but the client advisor that I was talking with advised that I probably shouldn't do it yet. Uh, and I agree because the cracks are very minor. Uh, they're not that obvious and it may possibly get worse in the future, you know, as I continue to use the bag. Um, I'm just thankful that uh, the glazing is not melting like what others are experiencing. Uh, so this is pretty minor. I'm not that bothered by it and uh, hopefully it doesn't get too bad so that I don't have to take it in for repair. Um, but uh, if it does, at least I know that it's um, an okay price, you know, 4,950 pesos and it will take, they said, six to eight weeks for it to get repaired. Um, but yeah, just in case you're curious, if you're having problems with the glazing uh, on your pochette matisse, you can have it glazed uh, for a minimal fee. Uh, given that it's almost four years old and the cracks are very, very small and minor, um, I'm not really, you know, up in arms about it. Um, it's just a, it's just nice to know that I can do something about it or have it serviced in the future if it gets worse. 
So there, that's the only thing I did in Louis Vuitton. I had very little time uh, when I went to Solaire. So on to the last and most exciting part of my video, and that is my Fendi vlog. So I stopped by Fendi at Solaire uh, in order to check out uh, a few things, what they had in, some new stuff, and uh, I'm first gonna show my quick vlog on it, uh, and then I'll just get back and do my commentary afterwards. So. Here you go, enjoy. hope you enjoyed that quick vlog I like I said it was very quick I didn't really have that much time so I only filmed what I can and I also chatted uh, with the client advisor a little on the side so I didn't leave much time for filming uh, but I still do hope you enjoyed that I was particularly excited when I saw the rose gold sequin baguette um, it's something I wouldn't buy for myself. It's something that's too flashy for me, but I was still happy to see it in person. I mean, I can appreciate a really, really gorgeous bag. Uh, so I was just happy to see it in person and to scrutinize it and take a look at it and take a look at the details. So it was really, really nice. Um, also the petite peekaboo, it was really, really cute. But as you saw in the video, when it's beside the mini peekaboo, it's quite small. Um, also, I tried putting in um, a phone, my phone, which is not that big and it was just right. Uh, so it's a snug fit and the bag is also quite structured. So I still prefer my mini peekaboo over that one. Um, also, you may have seen that I was checking out a couple of straps because I'm on the hunt for a very versatile Fendi strap to go with my three bags. Um, so let's just have some eye candy right now. So these are my current Fendi bags. So first off is my mini Montresor in the denim with the tan uh, leather 
And then I have my mini peekaboo uh, in the Celeria leather cloud color. So that's a blue gray shade, this one. And last but not the least, my very first Fendi bag, my Fendi baguette, uh, medium size and the white Napa leather. So these three uh, Fendi, Fendi bags are very different from each other, but I am hoping to find a good strap that could fit all of these three bags so I can maximize it because the strap use are not, are not cheap. Okay, and I want something that can work with all of them. I am currently looking at the Fenty uh, fabric strap, uh, which is adjustable and in the classic Zuka print because um, I think that's the most neutral. Um, but if you have any suggestions, please, uh, please uh, drop a comment down below. I am on the hunt. I want a thin strap, not the really, really thick one. So my options are pretty limited, but yeah, I am I'm currently eyeing that one, the classic Zuka print. Thin strap, fabric strap, adjustable strap. And it's something I want to purchase within this year so I can um, use them and have fun with all of the Fendi bags that I've accumulated, um, especially these two most recent Fendi bags that I own. Um, I'm really loving Fendi at the moment and uh, I tend to gravitate towards these three bags, um, especially recently. Last but not the least, a quick update on the prices in Fendi. Uh, the recent Fendi price increase in June uh, did not affect most of the women's handbags. It only affected the Fendi by the way bag, so that one increased, but all the rest hasn't increased. The increases were mainly in the men's collection, so uh, us women, and the bags that we love are safe. So unless you like something from the men's collection, the uh, women's handbags weren't affected. Uh, however, they are warning me of a price increase in the next month or two. So keep in touch with your client advisor because there might be a price increase. Uh, in that's it. Um, I really enjoyed my trip to Solaire. Um, you know, compared to Greenbelt, the stores are a lot smaller, they have less stocks, but I really do appreciate that it's not as crowded. I went there on a Saturday and it wasn't as crowded. I didn't fall in line at Dior, I didn't fall in line at Fendi. Uh, the wait in Louis Vuitton was like half the time compared to Greenbelt. Um, so it means there's more time to browse, you have more time to chat with your client advisor, and it's. I just think the service is a little bit more personable. So if you want to avoid the crowds, I suggest you go to the shops at Solaire instead of Greenbelt. Also, if there's something you want to buy and it's not in stock in Solaire, they can actually call it in from the flagship stores and uh, you can come back to check it out in Solaire. Great, right? So it, again, a great way to avoid the crowds, a great way to have and a better shopping experience because I feel like lines and waiting sort of take away from the whole luxury experience and um, any way to avoid that is very very much welcome in my book. Um, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my updates, my vlog. Um, so I hope to see you again next time, hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, but yeah, that's it. Keep loving luxury and stay bag happy. Salamat!